Yeah. I made an error. But now I've corrected the mistake and my sleep is becoming amazing. Studies suggest that a high salt diet may contribute to multiple sclerosis development and course. Salt disrupts T cells. And it's that disruption that causes inflammation that leads to exacerbations and progression. On top of that, sodium is often blamed for boosting blood pressure, while potassium is praised for keeping it in check. It really doesn't make sense to look at these things separately. Though, since they work in tandem together in the body, they're often associated together. In regular day-to-day -day life, I see there is more trouble for those of us with MS as it relates to sleep. Although there is no definite research to support that low potassium causes sleep problems, in my experience, there is. So chemically, salt is known as sodium, sodium chloride to be specific. And for us, it's especially important to have that potassium calorie balance in our diets. Hey, it's Steve. Potassium is an electrolyte. That's a substance that can break down into particles called ions. Ions carry electrical charge and are capable of conducting electricity Potassium plays a part in sending electrical impulses between our brains and our nerves. For sleep, a study way back in August of 1991 reported that potassium supplementation increased sleep efficiency and reduced the amount of waking up after falling asleep. I don't have any extra wiggle room in my diet to add any potassium rich foods. But when it comes to the foods I eat, I have a banana that gives me 425 milligrams. Then I get 525 milligrams from my romaine lettuce. And then the biggest source is from my black beans, which carry a good old 1,440 milligrams. Before I did a deep dive, I thought that was pretty good. But the ratio of potassium to sodium is extremely important. My three main sources of lean meats to build muscle are chicken breast, eggs, and whey protein powder. They don't provide any potassium, but they shoot up my sodium levels to close to 2100 milligrams. True, that is safely under the 2300 milligrams recommended daily allowance by 200 milligrams, but I've read ideally that sodium level should be closer to 1500 milligrams. So I'm far over that. That's tough, but I shrug my shoulders at it. I need my muscle mass to suppress my multiple sclerosis. And I know for a fact 
that protein that includes the sodium is needed to achieve that. But what I think worried me more than my sodium levels was that my potassium levels was as low as it was. I have to admit a big mistake. In my previous video about hydroxy boot rate, I highlighted the BHB supplement that gave me half of my day sodium. But that was 1,160 milligrams of sodium on top of my 2,100 milligrams for my diet. Way, way, way too much sodium. And for a few days, my sleep suffered from that. But I knew the remedy. And I know from my experience now, it's an easy fix. The same company that I bought my sodium BHB salt from sells a potassium BHB salt. That simple, super simple switch turned my weakness into my diet strength. Just a, just a daily scoop I shot my potassium levels through the roof and amplified my sleep quality. I wanted a potassium level of around 4,700 milligrams. Um, the combination of my diet along with the BHB salt that I added brought me pretty close to the to that mark. So I added a extra potassium supplement that pushed me to my great goal of 4,700 milligrams, which is right where I want to be. I am sleeping like a baby now. Let me ask you about your sleep. Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.